All right, let's talk about Game Genie. Now, Game Genie is another awesome software feature that works really well with the hardware inside the ROG phone. So first, let's see how to get into the settings for Game Genie. So the first option is to open up settings, go to advanced settings, and then we can see Game Genie right here, tap, and we have a bunch of settings we can change. So the second way we can get into the settings is with this little icon here, and we tap on Game Genie and we've got a nice little shortcut into the Game Genie settings. Now, when we're inside the settings, there's a lot of things we can tweak and customize. Uh, one really cool thing is the real-time info management here. This allows you to select what is monitored in real time when you're playing the game. And we'll show you how to activate this feature later. We can also select the recording settings, so what resolution you want to record at, the audio source. You can also choose if you want to store the files on your internal card or on an SD card. Now this is also where you're going to set up your live stream account. So if you want to easily stream to YouTube or to Twitch, you can enter your account information here and then it's really easy once you're in the game to just automatically start live streaming with a few button presses. Now I want to show you what Game Genie looks like in app. So let's go ahead and boot up a game. Okay, so now I'm in a game and swipe and there's a little icon up here and this is the Game Genie icon. So any app that's registered as a game from your device will have Game Genie available when you do that swipe. Now we can go through here and check out the key features. So let's turn on lock mode. Now when I turn on lock mode, Android's navigation keys are gone. You can see they're not here on the right side. This is great if you are prone to accidentally pressing those navigation buttons like I often do. So that will keep you in the game. Uh, you can also turn on no alerts. So it's, it says what it'll do right there, but this will basically block all kinds of notifications from coming in. And if you get a call, it's a very small and unobtrusive, semi-transparent bar that will come up on screen. So you can actually just swipe that away and it's really easy. It just keeps you in the game. So another really cool feature, this is one of my favorites, is real-time info. So we go ahead and turn that on and we can actually tap with our finger and move this all over the screen. And this will show you some metrics in real time. You can see how's your CPU doing, how's the usage percentage, you can see how's the GPU usage percentage, you got your battery life and even the temperature of the device right here. And you can customize this. Uh, you can even have it show your refresh rate. So really, really nice function. I love having those metrics available as an on-screen display. Now, moving on down, we can also lock brightness. Now, this is important if you're holding the phone like this and you might cover up your ambient light sensor. And what that can cause if you've turned on auto brightness is the display might actually try to automatically dim. It thinks you're in a really dark room suddenly. So this just prevents that from happening and keeps the brightness level of the game static the entire time. Now, a few other things we can do are speed up the game. If we tap this, it will enter this little optimization window and reduce the amount of memory that's being used by background applications. So that's really important to have, especially if you find you're hitting that limit. We can also activate the air triggers. So those are here in portrait mode and we can actually just click and drag those around the screen really easy. We'll have another video on exactly how to set this up in a game so you can see a more detailed example, but that is a really cool feature to have at your disposal. We can also go and set up macros. Now, I'm not gonna show you a specific example now, but you can imagine if you have a game that requires multiple inputs, like pick up the item and then equip the item. If you keep finding yourself doing the same two, three, or four, or five actions in a row again and again and again, just set up a macro and it'll make it really, really easy. So, moving on down, we also can easily record our screen. So we'll go ahead and hit the button. And you can see the little icon here, that means we are recording. If you wanna stop, just tap, hit the button, and you stopped. You can easily hear, share, delete your video as you wish. Now, we also have live streaming built in, and it's so convenient. So again, you just open up Game Genie, scroll down here to live, Right away you can see, here's your YouTube and here's your Twitch. You just select which account you want to start your live stream 
and hit the start button and boom, you're live streaming. Couldn't be any easier. Now, these functions in Game Genie are something that you are not going to get on other phones and other systems. These have all been custom developed just for the ROG phone and it's part of what makes the ROG phone so unique and such a special experience if you're a mobile gamer. So again, if you want to check out the best experience possible today for mobile gaming, you're gonna wanna go with the ROG phone.